Hey everybody, this is my video review of Alosha's drawing course, which I just took over the last 10 weeks. It was incredible. For those of you who don't know Alosha, he is basically an off-grid visionary, and I did a three-part series with him, which you can find in the description below, the link to each one of those videos, which I recommend all of them. They're incredible. Basically, in a nutshell, Alosha is coming up with a self-sustaining ecosystem that you can build affordably in any climate, but particularly catered to cold climates where he is taking the ideas of the Earthship home and hybridizing it into a model, basically a flagship model that he's created called the Wadalarium that uses a compost reactor to supplement heat during the winter months where you might be living in a climate that has absolutely no sun or very little sun uh, for you know three months during the winter. And that is what he has dedicated his life to creating. He's an inspirational visionary. It was a pleasure to sit down every week to draw with him and the class. I would like to give an honest review of the drawing course right now and not just try and tell you all the things I liked. So if you're interested in hearing all of my opinions, some of the challenges that we had and ways that we can improve the course moving ahead in the future, then stay tuned. But for now, I'm gonna let Alosha explain for you what he is offering. Hello, creative collaborators and co-creators. I'd love to invite you to my new video course where you can learn how to draw on paper in 2D as well as in 3D your future eco home. We'll start by looking at the top view and actually developing the home's floor plan. But before we do that, I will explain to you why we do everything. I will have an extensive lesson on key principles of bio design. Once we have the floor plan, we will master the drawing of section which is side view front view elevation and all the necessary slices through the home in various directions so you can see what the home looks like from east to west and north to south thereafter we will take the scanned version of the floor plan and import it into rhino 3d software i will show you how i use rhino and what features of the program that are necessary in order for us to design the home from start to finish. It will be quite an intensive process, but I thoroughly explain every single detail so you will be able to replicate this home by the end of this class. So I welcome you to join me in this training tutorial so you can learn how to design your own home for your own climatic conditions and pull the blueprints out of it so you can present to your necessary authorities or take it with you on a site to show your construction workers or your friends, whoever is helping you to build this home. Having a good detailed plan with dimensions and top view, side view, front view, sections, elevations, is all very necessary for you to know what on earth you're going to be doing on site. Of course, I'm going to show you how to redraw this home on the ground from your paper sketch. Besides the 20 odd pre-recorded and well edited tutorials, I'll also give you support in the form of 10 live sessions that we'll do on Saturdays for the duration of 10 weeks to provide you that much needed support for when you're going to get stuck. And that includes, of course, your paper drawing process and the Rhino 3D sessions. I came to this design after 13 years of building, designing and experimenting and trust me, when you see this design in action, you'll understand why I came to it. For example, the four repetitive vaults use the same formwork right throughout and the design is totally modular. Build a central room with the geodesic dome, greenhouse, and then you build one room at a time. You can add it as the finances become available. Trust me when I say this is a well thought through design of an Earthship hybrid. I have even consulted with Mike Reynolds from Earthship Biotecture to refine my latest eco home for the cold climate and most erratic weather patterns. On one of the lessons, we'll go through the detailed moon cocoon cull earth blueprint. In another lesson, we'll cover the detailed blueprint of the Earthship simple survival model. So you learn how the master architects such as Nader Khalili and Mike Reynolds present their blueprints to the authorities. To make this course ever more interactive, keep on moving between sharing of screen 
and camera view to make our tutorials wholesome, fun and exciting. So I invite you to come and join us in our detailed and thorough 2D and 3D interactive drawing course where you're going to learn how to design your home for your own climatic conditions and how to present professional blueprints to your authorities. Welcome. All right, everybody. So now that you know what we've been up to for the last 10 weeks, here is my review of the course. First, I just want to say that the course has been catered to any experience level, whether you've drawn before or have used a 3D modeling program before or you've never picked up a pencil and a piece of graph paper. But what I will say is that I actually do have experience drawing blueprints and I do have some 3D modeling experience. Uh, I actually never used the 3D modeling program though that we're using in this course called Rhino. So it was my first time. So everything that you're seeing here, I've gotten all these results by working with the class and with Alosha. So obviously, first of all, let's talk about some of the things that I really liked about the course. You know, sometimes you sign up for an online course and it has a really great uh, marketing campaign, but then it doesn't really deliver in terms of the content. What I have to say about this is that it's probably the other way around. I think that the content itself was actually above and beyond and I am tilting my hat to Alosha for the amount of work that I know it must have taken to produce this course. I think he's done a great job of making not only the pre-recorded lessons so that everyone could follow at their own pace, but also then to have every weekend a live session is been really helpful and fun and just enjoyable, but also uh, being in person with the class, the group, and with the teacher that is just so nice um, to be able to ask any of the questions that you might have had lingering or hear what everyone else is going through, sit down with a group of like-minded people, and you never know who you're gonna meet. It always has the potential to linking you or connecting you with someone that you didn't expect to be meeting. So I would say that in terms of the support from the community and the support from the teacher, I definitely give the course an A+. The content with the pre-recorded lessons has been great, and I've, I've actually learned a lot from them uh, especially with using Rhino. Just being able to sit down and watch Alosha kind of go through his process and reverse engineer and explain, you know, how he goes about making his designs has challenged me to, you know, experiment more with the program than I think I would have if I just took, uh, like, you know, a very classic kind of tutorial that shows you how to do from step A to Z, you know. I wouldn't say necessarily that his style is the classic tutorial. He oftentimes is explaining the reasoning behind why he's doing the things, which as an owner builder is even more valuable because you learn his thought process, which is really the most valuable part of uh, building your own home, in my opinion, if you're gonna try to go off grid. All right, and finally, I'll just say that I really do believe in what Alosha is putting out there and I want more people to experience is just the opportunity to sit down with a visionary who is taking these thoughts basically as far as you can take them and challenging us as students to really dream big. I mean, that's, you know, why we're here, right? Uh, otherwise you wouldn't be here watching this video. You know, you got big dreams or maybe you have little dreams, but you want them to be big and then eventually you want them to be real. Alosha actually inspired me to create a design that I had kind of on the back burner, which I drew as a little sketch in my notebook a couple years ago and take it into 3D. So the turtle house that I came up with, this idea of a top-down floor plan, which included a few vaults and a main round room basically, but was still uh, taking inspiration from the Earthship design principles and you know having uh, some passive solar elements to it, but also being buried on the north side. You know, I decided that I was gonna take that and put it in 3D and you know really test the skills that I learned here in this course. And man, it turned out great. I mean, this sketch that I had, I've never really truly been able to just rotate around it 360 and take a look. And I would say that, you know, just that alone, just the fact that I took a design that I had on the back burner and, you know, brought it back into the forefront and then turned it into a 3D model was well worth price. I mean, it's a very reasonable price for what he's offering. And, you know, if you can end up taking that sketch that you have in your head and turn it into a 3D model and then potentially turn it into the blueprints to build your own home with this course at this price, it's just a no brainer. All right, so moving on from reasons why I liked it and just moving ahead into reasons why you might like it and why you might wanna take the course. So obviously the live support over the weekends is gonna be a huge plus if you're someone who is just starting and 
you know, you have no idea how you're going to even be able to get to the level that, you know, Alosha or I are at in terms of being able to create blueprints. I get you and I understand, and that is why you should take the course. When Alosha gets on air two times every weekend for two different time zones, he's doing that because he's trying to cater as much of the time he has to his students to help them get through. And ultimately it's all about learning. So even if you're working at your own pace and that's a lot slower than the rest of us, then that's fine. You're still learning the skills. And at the end of the day, you're going to have a massive improvement by taking the course. So, all right. So finally, you know, if you're interested in things like earth ships and permaculture and alternative material building, you know, if you're interested in earth bag, if you're interested in air creed, if you're interested in ferro cement vaults, if you're interested in buried houses, passive solar, growing your own food, compost reactors, building your own greenhouses, geodesic domes, then obviously this course is for you. However, this course is not for you if you like squares. Alosha literally won't even design anything that is rectangular or square or linear. So if you like straight lines, I'm sorry, this course isn't for you. If your dream is to build a square cabin with an A-frame roof, then you know you just might not find it valuable. We're just not gonna be covering those subjects and he's not gonna be teaching you how to draw a square. Another reason why this course might not be for you at this time is if you're like traveling and don't have internet. You know, if you're traveling and you don't have reliable in internet right now, it's going to be hard for you to sit down uh, for those live sessions every weekend. All right, so one final thing about why you might not want to take the course is if you plan on building your dream home in a city or in a suburban environment or in a heavily regulated area, um, if you expect to or even know that, you're going to have to have, you know, engineers reports and permits and th this, this is not the course for that you know th this is innovative architecture and it's going to require a little bit of freedom to build any of the things that we're talking about here all right and some of the challenges that we came up with during the course first of all um the graph paper you know i'm in america right now and i had to go to the staples department store to find this which there isn't a staples here um so i had to drive quite a ways and you know i was deceived i i bought a pad of graph paper that I thought was uh, in the metric system because on the front here it has a little example graph and that actually is in the metric system. <laughs> but the inside is in inches. Uh, it's, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. But they tricked me and it was hard for me to get through some of the lessons because every time that Alosha would call out the measurements in the metric system, I had to translate it into the imperial system and that, you know, slowed me down a little bit and made it harder for me and the class, obviously, to work. So, you know, one of the things that I would definitely recommend if you're going to take the class is to get yourself graph paper that is in the metric system for sure uh, before you hop onto the lessons or try to do any of the uh, pre-recorded lessons at home yourself. Another thing would be the time zone and the scheduling. You know, it took a little bit of work to figure out which time zones would work for all the students. And once we finally got a schedule that worked, the schedule worked great. Uh, but for me, in the beginning, it took a little bit of getting used to. You know, I woke up at like 6 a.m. because I thought that was uh, when we were starting. And then it turned out that the class didn't even start until like 8 or 9. Um, so that, that was just a challenge. And uh, yeah. Good morning. It's uh, 6 a.m. and I'm about to sit down with Alosha. He is in Moscow in Russia. So with the time difference, I'm waking up early to attend the drawing class. About to jump on the Zoom call here and uh, all my tools are out. So I'm excited to get to drawing. I, yeah. Yeah, that was hard. Another thing is that, you know, we thought we were going to be using the tracing paper more and we didn't end up using that much tracing paper. Not that I'm, you know, upset about that, but if you do want to save some money, then uh, maybe you could go ahead and just use a piece of like baking paper, you know, one piece of baking paper from your kitchen or uh, a thin, a thin piece of like uh, tissue paper or something like that. Um, yeah, just a little side note that, you know, the tracing paper can be nice. Th this would be more like an investment, you know, if you wanted to uh, continue to make your own drawings and do layers and things like that. Um, we didn't really go too deep into the layers in the course. Yeah, in some areas where the course could potentially uh, improve, even though I know that this was only the first and it's just going to keep getting better in time, I'll just say uh, for your sake and, you know, because I saw the need for it, 
uh, maybe like a beginner's intermediate and advanced level course. I know that Alosha is already thinking about that and it's nothing new, uh, but you know, there's definitely a, a lot of information to take in from the theory uh, to the hand-drawn to the 3D and then beyond, you know, possibly even virtual reality. Um, the 3D modeling course could have definitely in the end went deeper, but I don't know if everyone even caught up with all of the uh, steps that Alosha went through in the 10 weeks. So maybe that could be evolved in the future into a advanced course. And I guess the last thing I would say is that, you know, as Alosha continues to develop the course, he's going to actually take his blueprints to the architectural uh, professional level where you could submit them to the building department or you could hand them to a foreman or a contractor or, you know, you could use them yourself to build the home. But at the moment, it is not there. So that's just a result of how early I came into the course. You know, he is literally taking us through the steps live as he's making these blueprints, turning them into 3D models and then making them into professional blueprints. And so I know that at the moment he is working on the professional blueprints. And by the time you end up taking the course, I'm sure that he'll already be done with that. And you will learn all the skills you need to make a professional blueprint. It just happens to be that that wasn't where we were at when I took the course just now. All right, so in summary, I obviously had a great time with this drawing course and I think you will too. You can find a link in the description if you wanna check it out. I recommend checking out the interview series that I did with Alosha. If this has you inspired, then that is a really great way to ride the wave. Obviously, if you are into this kind of stuff, then I recommend liking and subscribing to the channel, The Off-Grid Guru, where you're gonna find all sorts of examples of people living the off-grid dream or dreaming of the off-grid life.